Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday the 9th of February 2014 and today we're taking a look at some images from uh, Stereo A uh, claiming to show Planet X or Nibiru. We often see these images in the uh, Stereo A or Stereo B or the SOHO and sometimes SDO images um, and usually what we're presented with are single images like this one here. I was shown this image earlier today in a Facebook discussion and uh, the claim was that uh, this image shows Planet X next to the Sun or Nibiru. As we can see from the data here it was on the 28th of November 2013 so this is last year and this was in the Stereo AHI1 image. Now it's no good presenting just a single image like this, uh, this is of no value whatsoever what we need to do is look at the image in context. In other words we need to look at the images before this one and after this one as well. And it's quite simple because all we have to do is go to the uh, Stereo website and uh, select the, the appropriate uh, camera. In this case it's the Stereo Ahead HI1 camera. We can put in the date. I've got 28th of 11th 2013 through to the 29th I've got the resolution set to 512 by 512 and we're going to look at the slideshow. Now I've already loaded this up just to make it faster and uh, well that's the um, other search for Soho and uh, this is the one for Stereo Ahead. So this is the, the same image. You'll notice that this one is blue whereas the one that we were looking at is, is red but it's actually the, the same date and time. It's actually the same image. We can see it says here that it's the 28th of November 2013 at 3.29 UTC and this one here is at 3.29 UTC. Uh, this image has been uh, I believe processed a little differently. If you have your uh, video set to high definition you might be able to see if you're looking full screen that there's actually a label here it says Mercury for this object here and also it says Earth here. So this is Mercury, this is the Earth and if we have a look in this image here this is Mercury and this is the Earth. So here is this apparent object which in this image is supposed to be Nibiru or Planet X. Now we've got a clearer view of it here but what happens if we uh, step forward a few frames what do we see? Let's have a look at the apparent texture on this object. Now is this really texture or is it the background stars? Well if I step it forward it soon becomes apparent or obvious that they are background stars and our planet X soon disappears into nothing. Now what if I go backwards? Let's take it back. We're going to see our object slowly appear again. Here it comes. Okay, so that's 329. That was the frame that we started with. And if we go backwards, it's suddenly disappeared. So apparently Nibiru or Planet X is mysteriously able to uh, disappear in an instant. Now remember that, that these images are only like about 30 minutes apart. That was 249. If I go forward again, uh, that's 3.29, so what's that? About 40 minutes. So within the space of about 40 minutes apparently uh, Planet X or Nibiru has suddenly appeared. But not only that, apparently Planet X is um, transparent. You can see right through it and you can see the stars through it. So what is actually causing this? Well, it's actually a lens flare. Um, but what is causing the lens flare? Well, if, again, if we step this forward, we soon see that just coming into view on the left hand side is the Pleiades star cluster. This is better known as the Seven Sisters. And we can actually uh, check that in programs like Starry Night and uh, we'll, we'll show that that is actually the uh, Pleiades star cluster. Now another thing that I'd like to point out is that in these images we often see um, these lines. Now sometimes they're vertical or sometimes they're horizontal. Now all this is is the image sensor in the camera, the CCD, that stands for Charged Coupled Device, is actually overloading with, uh, with the light. 
Now on the, the, the sensor we all always talk about um, megapixels so each little uh, dot in the image is, is a pixel so on the image sensor you've got all these little pixels and they're actually like little buckets which uh, collect the, the uh, electrons or, or photons um, from the incoming light it's actually turned into, a, into an electrical charge and each one of these little buckets which re represent each pixel will only take so much charge and if you've got a bright light source like you have here with the, with the Earth and you'll often see this in vi with Venus because obviously Venus is very bright but what happens is because the light source is, is so very bright the, the, the bucket or the, the well in the, um, in the image sensor actually overflows with charge and the charge will actually flow either vertically it will flow either up or down or in both directions or it will flow horizontally now the reason why it is either vertical or horizontal in the image of course is entirely because of the orientation of the image sensor on the device so whenever you see these these light spikes or wings you'll notice that they're always completely vertical or they're always completely horizontal you won't see them diagonal like that and um, so that's all it is so once again just to recap this video here the, the the flare that we see in this object is actually caused by the Pleiades star cluster now you will also see uh, similar sorts of flares caused by other bright objects as they come into view particularly Venus of course because it is so very bright so um, let me just um, step that uh, or I will step that back again and we'll just take a another look at that so as um, Pleiades goes out of view then we will see that flare coming in there it is and that's the image that we were looking at before that's the one that we were looking at and as I say it's no good taking a single image like this and presenting it and saying look here's proof of planet X because you do have to look at it in, uh, in context and here it is in context we step it forward and there goes planet X, Nibiru, it's, it's not there, it's not real. So there we have it, I hope that's helped understand what's going on in these images. I will put links um, so that you can search these images yourself. Uh, that's the Soho um, movie theatre and uh, this is the uh, for the stereo images. So have a look in the description area and you'll find links for those. And as always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.